Hi and welcome to another new quick tip. Today we're going to go ahead over camera exports from Nuke to Maya. Now the idea is that we want to work inside of Maya to refine a model to be able to work um, a little bit more freely uh, in doing a model. So uh, we need to find a way of actually being able to work bef back and forth between Nuke and Maya. So in this case, in this podcast, I'm going to cover the way to export a camera in very simple steps. So let's go back. In order to do this, what we need is, of course, we need the footage that we're going to be working on. All right. You need a camera track of that footage. So I already have done that. And we already have a scene and we have an undistorted lens. And we also have a camera, an animated camera that we got from the Solve. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and export that camera out. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the camera very quick, just to move it into place that is a cleaner. Okay. And from that point on, I'm just going to go ahead and you can do either a scene or a transform geo node. So the easiest way is to actually go ahead and create a scene node, connect that input to the scene node, and then create a right geo node. In the right geo, what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to your folder structure. I'm going to have a nuke to Maya folder. I'm going to go to cameras. And usually what I like to do is I like to keep the naming of my scene with the naming of my camera that I'm currently exporting on. So that way I know and I keep track of the scene that I'm using for the camera export. So I'm going to go ahead and click on one of those and put six on the number. Now for this, I'm going to be using the Alembic file system. So I'm going to put .abc at the end. Now we're going to go ahead and hit open and we're going to get the screen right here. And I'm going to turn off geometries and point clouds because the only thing I want at this moment is my cameras. Okay, so what I'm going to do is after I do that, I'm going to hit execute and hit OK. And it's going to go through the whole sequence and it's going to export the camera out. All right, so the camera export is done. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to jump into Maya. We're going to have our scene set up already. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and go to pipeline cache. And this folder should have the Olympic cache in there. If not, you could go to the Windows. Setting and Preferences, Plugin Manager. In the Plugin Manager, make sure that the ABC Export Bundle and the ABC Import Bundle, they're both turned on. Hit Refresh and Close. Go back to the Pipeline Cache, Alembic Cache, and Import Alembic. In there, select the current camera that we just exported out of new and hit Import. Now, the most important thing is that you have the animation of the camera and your timeline reflects the timeline inside of Nuke of your sequence. With that in note, you should now should see that you have the whole camera animation. The other important thing that you need to make sure is that the actual camera has the same settings as the new camera. So the animation and the horizontal film and vertical aperture as well as the focal length. So in order to check that, you could double click on the camera, the animated camera, and we could see the translate rotation and scale as well as the projection in the focal length, horizontal aperture and the vertical aperture. So all that information should be exactly the same within Maya and Nuke. So we're pretty good on that. So the next thing is just let's go ahead and check very quick animation camera. And now we can see that we have our whole sequence covered in there. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. This had been another quick tip. This is Brother Flores uh, for VFX Lunchbox.